you for, you know, I had to remind my wife. I was like, remember that time when when I, I was like dancing with you? And then oh, like, that's that was true. the day. That was yeah. True. yeah, that was our first date. That's true. And then I after forgot. that, it was like, so that was like your first official yeah. date with Chanel. It was like, like, he took a date to my wedding. Like sparks that flying. That is so true. Oh, I think I had it. Yeah, sparks, oh, I didn't even know explosions, <gasps> babies. Mexican weddings tend to do that. Because Irish wedding. I remember that. Baby. If you hadn't gotten married, you I would have. have yeah. So you're the reason why I can't do anything fun. I'm now. sorry, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, I'm in the same boat. All right. <laughs> Alright, Jenny's gonna Jenny's gonna make a three pointer guys. No, I can't. Alright, try your best. Come on. Oh three shots. Bam. Basketball. My ball. Come on, Jazzy. Show me what you got, Jazzy. Show me what you got. There we go. You see? Who got game? Who got game? Me! Who got game? Who's the best player in the world? Me! That's right. And you! Here we go. So this is called the Flaming Burger. The Flaming Burger is, uh, first of all, you gotta go to Water Burger. Can I get a uh, number seven and a number two? Um, Toasted buns, chocolate on the side. Number seven would be for somebody with a small appetite, right? Number two would be somebody with a big appetite. Uh, can you toast the buns on the number seven and chopped jalapenos on the side? You gotta make sure you order the uh, chopped jalapenos on the side. We ordered two burgers and we've been waiting here for 15 minutes, going on 16. It's going on like 50. Any five foot radius in the radio has the, the flaming hot bag. Grab these. Syphilis. <laughs> and you grab a, <laughs> you grab a handful like that. And just like, just put it right there. Like, like <laughs> and that. that, my friends, is the the flaming burger. Saturday morning, first day off, and I got the next nine straight days off. Today's gonna be a fun day. Cotto versus Canelo tonight. Leo DeSafo coming into my house today. He's a uh, hip hop artist, uh, producer, and he's just a fun guy to be with. But he'll be here hanging out with me tonight, and I'm I'm, I'm excited for that. So, for now, I'm gonna get back to doing this this stuff right here. Just work hard, man. Just don't stop until it's done. Yes, I didn't get to see it. Netflix and chill. Pozole and chill. Look at that. That's my little Jeff. That's part of my... Sofrito. Más grandote. Some pozole. Look at that, look at that. From a 1 to 10. I started fast, but... Mm -hmm. What, the, the pozole or the fight? No, no, talk about the pozole, man. This is a pozole because I don't want to see the tears. I don't want to see the tears. I don't want to see the tears. I don't want and um, just woke up Monday morning beautiful morning it's about 60 degrees outside and I'm headed to I'm be recording some Mazda music and uh, he's actually gonna be teaching me about music there we go let's go In today's episode, we go out in the country and we make it happen.
a keyboard, but it also has chords, so. Man, I'm pumped. That's right. I am uh, I am really pumped for this project that I'm working with Brian. I'm actually not doing anything besides um, just being part of it. Uh, <laughs> here with Jeff right here and Jordan. What's up, Jordan? Oh. Bye. Bye, Chulo. Love you. Okay. It's about 5:25 p.m. Gorgeous skies tonight, though. And uh, I came here 30 minutes before the sun was gonna drop. Got my angle ready. Got my shot ready. And um, now I'm just enjoying, enjoying the sunset. I always tell my kids, it's like, you know, you gotta stop and smell the roses. One thing my grandma would always tell me: stop and smell the roses. Always comes as, at a sacrifice. It gets the give and takes, the balance of life. By the way, I'm looking here at the distance, and there I can see the silhouette of the mountains. I forgot the name of these mountains here, but you can only see them at a very few days out of the year, and it's got to be like almost a clear sky all the way through. A lot of reason I'm doing the vlogging is so I can continue my creative expression through film. Uh, I wanted to be a filmmaker, and the other thing is that I. Um, I wanted to do uh, more activities with my kids and being, being able to do those at the same time um, just I think will help me a lot uh, spiritually, emotionally and I'll just be, I'll just be more, I'm more of a happy camper. Not that I'm not, I'm the happy guy. There was one song that represented who you are, which would be the song. Beautiful! <laughs> oh yeah, look at that beautiful girl. Um. Note, I was already asleep and they woke me up to go to the movies. We did not make it to the movie. Ain't nobody got time to go rent a movie. The movie will start at 10.30 and we took off at 10.16. It was not gonna happen, so we decided that we were going to. Where's Jeffrey? Rent a movie instead, and then go buy snacks. What do we get? Tomorrowland. Tomorrowland. That Andy Minio. What? Andy Minio. Andy Minio? Can't stop. Can't stop me? Alright, let's go. Did you think about your song already? Oh no. She'll love Jeffrey. She'll love Jeffrey. Yeah. Alright, she's gonna think about the song. When she's ready, she'll let us know and we'll record her. Are you recording? No, I'm not recording. Why did she tell you? 
that, that she wanted to know if I was recording. I was like, I don't know, I don't think so. I was like, you want to come out of the vlog? You are recording it, aren't you? Oh my god. I'm not recording this anymore. Why would I get in, everybody in trouble right dead, now? Dead, dead. Where? Right there. Okay, Jenny, point it. Point I it thought she was gonna. My song would be Downtown. Um, I think my song will be Beautiful. What, what do you say? I've never seen one this big. Do not open drinks in the trunk.